If you are planning to set up BACnet with a Yaskawa HV600, we've got good news. The setup process is quick and easy for a qualified electrical professional to complete. The Technical Drain Department of Yaskawa America presents Easy BACnet Setup with the HV600 AC Drive or Bypass for HVAC, Fan, and Pump applications. At Yaskawa, we know your time is valuable. That's why we designed the HV600 to meet all of your needs. This video will cover a brief overview of BACnet, the quick setup procedure for BACnet programming and wiring, and additional topics for advanced users interested in monitors, control, objects, and drive parameter access. Let's begin by explaining what BACnet is. BACnet stands for Building Automation and Control Network. This allows users to connect up to 127 HV600 masters and even more slave devices on a single BACnet MSTP network. This master-slave token passing protocol utilizes RS-485 technology to create one of the most widely utilized communication protocols found in commercial building automation environments. Yaskawa has taken the steps to make connecting and communicating easy. Included with the HV600 product, you will find a large fold-out quick setup procedure that makes the complicated simple with the easy to understand graphics. The procedure focuses on tasks all of our customers will perform with AC drives. In this ELM, we'll be focusing on additional procedure A how to set up the drive for monitoring via BACnet MSTP. First, navigate to the parameter group H5 serial communication. Set H501 to a unique node address for your local MSTP network. This value is entered via hexadecimal format. After, press enter to confirm with an entry accepted message. Then verify that H502 communication speed matches the local network speed. Next, H508, the communication protocol, should be adjusted to 3 BACnet. Parameters H5-14 and 15 together form a BACnet device object ID for the Yaskawa product. Modify H514 to set the low bits and H515 for the high bits to create a unique value on the whole BACnet network. The final programming setup is setting H5-20 to 1, which reloads the communication parameters. Wiring is made easy whether you're using an HV600 drive or bypass. Confirm that all power sources are turned off, all devices are discharged, and you have performed the correct lockout tagout procedure before doing any wiring. When wiring a drive, locate the TB6 terminal block on the drive control board. If you are setting up a bypass, locate the bypass control board and use the TB3 terminal block. Connect the signal ground and communication input output plus and input output minus. This is important. Double check the wiring and compare it to the diagram given in the quick start procedure. Before completion, identify if this is the last device on the network. Enable the termination resistor only when the device is at the end of the communication network. Set the dip switch S2 to the on position to enable the termination resistor or add the correct external resistor across the communication terminals. This switch is available on both the drive and bypass PCBs. Reinstall the covers and power up the device. You have completed the setup of an HV600 drive or bypass for monitoring via BACnet MSTP. For users interested in additional Yaskawa BACnet training, we will start with specific BACnet monitors. Navigate to the Monitor menu, select Standard Monitor, then locate UC BACnet Diagnostic Monitors. UC01 displays the BACnet MSTP net health this is between 0 and 100%. This network health rating is calculated based on CRC errors, token losses, token retries, 
and net dead time perceived. We have many more UC BACnet monitors available, like UC14 and UC15, which show token losses and retries since being powered on. Controlling an HV600 over BACnet couldn't be easier. Access the B1 parameter group and adjust B101, the frequency reference, and B102, the run command, to the serial communications option 2. That's it on the drive side. You are ready to send control commands over the network. Before we highlight some important objects you are likely to view and adjust, we need to explain what an object is. An object is a collection of properties for a specific attribute in a device. BACnet has standard objects that are widely accepted by most manufacturers, which allows easy integration into building automation systems. Yaskawa supports a wide variety of these standard objects, including analog input and output, analog value, binary input, output, binary value, and the device object. Different objects have varying amounts of present value access. While all objects can be read, some present values or PVs can be written or commanded. Commanded values are similar to writable values but have priority assigned to them. The highest priority in an array is written to the drive. Some examples included in the standard objects for the drive are AV2 or analog value 2, the frequency command which sets a speed reference to the drive via BACnet network. BV1 or binary value 1 gives the forward run command to the drive. BV3 and BV4 sets the external fault and fault reset. Some bypass examples include BV58 and BV61. These give the bypass a forward run command and a trigger to transfer the drive to bypass, respectively. If you are interested in accessing drive parameters that are not listed in the standard object groups, you can use AV29, AV30, and BV55 to read and write drive parameters. The knowledge learned here will give you a firm grasp on BACnet when applied to Yaskawa products. Now it's time for everybody's favorite segment, Review Questions. What does BACnet stand for? BACnet stands for Building Automation and Controlled Network. This is found in many commercial environments. Before completion, if this is the last device on the network, what should you install or enable? You should install a network termination resistor if you are at the end of the line. Or you can use Yaskawa's built-in resistor by enabling DIP switch S2 on the control PCB. We told you that setting up the HV600 for BACnet would be fast and simple. If you need any assistance, we're just a phone call away. If you have any issues with startup, call 1-800-YASKAWA for 24-7, 365 customer service at no charge. Be sure to have your serial number available for faster response time. Flexibility, sustainability, and ease of use. These are the hallmarks of the HV600 AC drive, an extension to Yaskawa's robust line of variable speed drives. At Yaskawa, we do everything in our power to make each experience with us better than the last. Because to us, it's personal, and we make the complicated simple. To learn more about the HV600, visit yaskawa.com. Thanks for watching.